Blending and compositing images together using On One Photo Raw 2024.5 is incredibly easy with its new and improved masking tools. Let's jump into Photo Raw and I'll show you how. So inside of On One Photo Raw, let's use a bit of creativity and some of the masking tools to blend two images together. We're gonna blend this image of this person standing on the rocks near some water into this image of this landscape with a road in it. So the first thing we're gonna use is the new and improved mask AI option to target the person within the scene and cut them out from their original image. I'm just gonna go into the masking options here. And within this mask AI region section, I'm just gonna go into the people option and I'll just paint them in and that will eliminate all of their surroundings. It's done a great job of separating that person away from its original foreground and background. So we're just going to use the masking brush now. And I'm just going to paint in some of that water into that road area within my scene. So now that we've masked in some of that water into the foreground, let's mask in a couple of shadows to make it seem realistic and also a couple of reflections. So to do that, I'm gonna use a couple local adjustments here. I'll just add one for the shadows. And I'm just gonna use my masking brush again. And I'll mask a shadow in on this right-hand side. And this left-hand side for the grass that's next to the road. And let's just lower the opacity to make sure it seems realistic. We don't need much, just a little bit there goes a long way. And then let's add another local adjustment for the reflections of the markers on the right and left hand side. So I'm just gonna go in here to this paint with color option and I'll choose one of the colors here within that yellow on the reflective marker there. And I'm just gonna again use my masking brush. And we're just gonna modify the opacity. From there, let's go into the develop tab here. Let's just boost the midtones a little bit for the scene. And we'll also add in a little bit of warmth there to match the surrounding areas within the rest of the image. From there, let's just head up and create a new stamp layer. That's going to duplicate those two layers that we were working on. It's going to merge them into a composite layer or a complete layer with the changes that we've made. So I'll just rename this complete. And let's go and swap the sky real quick to give it a bit more of an interesting background. One of my favorite categories in SkySwap is the Ocudrone Seriously Stormy. And I actually love the first sky that it pulls up within the scene. I think it matches this moody vibe within the composite and I really enjoy it for this particular photo. From there, let's just go into the effects tab and I'm gonna stylize the image a little bit with the LUTs filter. It's one of my all time favorite filters inside of On One Photo Raw. It's a great filter for packing a lot of style in one filter. And I like to use it when I'm compositing to ensure that all of the colors within my composite are all consistent. Let's go into our category here and I'm gonna use a nice moody matte style. And I really like this fourth option. So let's check out the original photograph with just the road and the landscape. And then with our compositing and blending using the new and improved masking tools in On One Photo Raw 2024.5. 